a couple podcasts ago, you know how they said 2020 was the most popular podcast of all, uh, po popular election of all time? Yeah, 76% And then you said this is going to be least? Yes. Okay. I think the, for the Dem side, I think it could be a dramatic drop of people that don't want, again, case study. We don't know the stuff like, we're going to find out exactly what's going to happen. But I would be curious to know what percentage are sitting this one out because they're flat out sick of Biden, period. Then in the middle, take the middle. What percentage of the middle do you think with this has gone this way over this way? What do you think it is? The middle right now is 20 points. Tucker said it's around 20 points. D different people said it's around 20 points. 40, 40, 20 is what we're looking at. What percentage do you think went this way because of this? Out of the 20, okay. what percentage do you think went this way? I think so. These are the middle. Yes. These, are, these are the independent the people that are just in the I yes. think if they have a brain and they're not just uh, tired and anti, I think. I'll say I'll say right down the middle are going. You know what? This is ridiculous. I, we're, I'm, okay. we're, they're going to vote Trump. I think the this. other ten percent is going the other way. Twenty twenty was what? Trump got seventy five million and and Biden got what? Eighty one million. Eighty one million average. votes. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's what one fifty six, right? Yep. One fifty six million total votes. Twenty percent of that, let's just say, is what? Twenty percent of one fifty six is thirty one point two million. million yeah. Out of the thirty one point two million, mm -hmm. not yesterday. Today, what percentage of the 31.2 million do you think just went, this is not fair, I'm going this way? They were undecided, they're going to go right. Um, maybe 10%. Wow. Yeah. So then that's an even swap right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 10% of the 31.2 is 3.1 million. Okay. You said 4% uh, uh, of the 75 million is mm -hmm. 3 million. So this becomes a wash. So then it's an even match to see who's going to win. It's, it's, it's off to the races to see what if, – if that's what uh, if the average person that's watching speculating on, that's what they will look at. Rob, what's this here that you have? What did you want I to just, show? I found this clip. This is from 1981, yep. and I wanted to play this as to Vinny's point. If you listen back to Donald Trump in the 80s, he's being asked, why – uh, would you ever consider running for president? Yeah. And it's very telling his response. And this is 81. 1981. He's 34 years 43 old. 43 years ago. Okay. Why wouldn't someone like yourself run for political office? You have all the money that you possibly need. You've accomplished a great deal. Even 34. though you are only 34. Boss. I know there's a lot of things looks that like you, Baron right here. you can do in the years ahead. Why wouldn't you dedicate yourself to public service? Because I think it's a very mean life. I, I would love and I would I would dedicate my life to this country, but I see it as being a mean life. And I also see it as somebody with strong views and somebody with the kind of views that are maybe a little bit unpopular, which may be right, hmm. but may be unpopular, wouldn't necessarily have a chance of getting elected against somebody with no great brain but a big smile. <laughs> wow. And that's a sad comment Gavin Newsom. the political no. process. Television, in a strange way, has ruined that process, hasn't it? It's hurt the process very much. I mean, the Abraham Lincolns of the world. Abraham Lincoln would probably not be electable today because of television. He was not a handsome man, and he did not smile. But Joe Biden's a smiler. Notice how he's stoic he used to be. I mean, chill. now he's a little bit more ramped up, obviously, but he was just cool, calm, well, collected back there. Pat, can I ask you a question, though? As, as a fellow veteran, as, a, as an immigrant whose family, and they came, like— you seen this because Umberto in the back, I walked in there. He, he looked like he was about to have a heart attack because he came to this country and he's like, what the hell are you guys doing? What does that do to you? Like, honestly, because I know you did, came from a meeting. You came in here. I've, I'm furious. Yeah. Well, no, I, I, I trust. I trust uh, God. Uh, I trust that, you know, what these founding fathers built, uh, they built a great system. Uh, I think the Supreme Court, the same way they got involved for Colorado, and it was a done deal. I wonder if Supreme Court's going to get involved with this and say you guys are out of your minds with what you're doing. There's, there's way too many things with the system that I trust that's been built. Do not uh, confuse with my lack of trust and uh, 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 support for what the DOJ, the FBI, any of that stuff is done. I don't know why I am extremely confident in the people enough of them realizing what the hell is going on. I don't know why to me, I'm coming from a different place where I'm sitting there, this guy four years ago, you know, when the name Trump would come up, he had bought into for a lot of the Russia collusion stuff. And now he's at a place. And, and how many people you think are like him? I think a lot of people. I think there's a lot of people in America 
that are in a position right now. They're, they're just, they love America. They maybe not even like Trump, but they're sitting there saying, I can't believe what's going on with this. Now, here's what I will say to you. I think what the left is going to do is the following. Okay, let's go through dates, calendar, okay? You got June 27th is what? Debate. Yep. During June 27th, how many times do you think Biden is going to use the word convicted felon? What do you oh, think the number will be? Oh, my God. That's it. That, how many times do you think? Okay, and, and how Every long is the debate? Sentence. An hour? It's a two-hour two hour debate. Two how hour many debate, times do you think he's going to use to say over-under? A hundred times. Well, I'll tell you. Twenty? Once a minute for each minute he's speaking. So okay, Once a minute for each. So if he speaks that's 60 for 45 times. minutes, moderators asking yeah, the yeah. question sometimes, let's just say 45 minutes, take the commercial out. So you think he's going to say it 45 times? Correct. Okay. Adam, how many times do you think he's going to say it? Yeah, right. I mean, he's okay. going to non nonstop. All right. So he's going to be promoting that. So watch this. June 27th is the debate. July uh, uh, 11th is the hearing. That's four days before the RNC. When is the RNC, Rob? Oh, the sentencing hearing. Yeah. The yeah. sentencing here is July 11th. The RNC, if I'm not mistaken, is July 15th. Okay, there you go, 15th through 18th, which he's probably going to be speaking at the end or whatever the, you know, Friday or the Wednesday it is. Okay, so they're trying to create a setting of going into this. Uh, uh, I actually think the sequencing doesn't favor Dems because I think the debate's going to piss off even more where it's going to create a lot of momentum at the RNC, where the fire at the RNC is going to be ridiculous of people wanting to be there because it's right after the debate. It's right after the sentencing then comes. So now on the sentencing side. When's here, DNC? Let's put the DNC. DNC is now. August. I think DNC is August 13th or something like that. But let me tell you where I'm going with this, Tom. Sentencing is August 19th. Okay, DNC is August 19th through the 12th. Let me tell you what's the one part that's kind of weird. I don't know how dark these guys are going to get. Would they, if the sentencing is what? July 11th. When does RNC start? 15th. What's the likelihood that on the 11th, these guys go so crazy that they prevent him from going to the RNC? Hmm. What's the likelihood? Because the timing is a little bit weird. You don't think July 11th is intentional? Like you think these guys pick dates accidentally? Enough. For 20 years, we put events. We've always chosen our dates intentionally. Always. Yeah. You get married. It's an intentional. Everything is an intentional mm. date that you choose. The judge selected it based on the court docket calendar. Right. The judge selected right. it. So July 11th is four days mm. before RNC. Could they potentially do something for him not to go to the RNC? They know if Trump doesn't go to the RNC, RNC is going to be dead. The energy is not going to be the same without Trump being there. I don't know. All, all I'm saying is if I'm sitting on the DNC side, everybody reacts today. Everybody goes to sleep today. We're really going to know the impact of this in one to four weeks. June is a case study to see what this is going to do. Dems are going to look at the polls in a week or two, and they're going to say, Okay, guys, it's working on our favor. Look what's going on over here, Wisconsin, da da da, da. Or they're going to say, oh, shit, Arizona went from 11 to 14. Oh, my God, Pennsylvania, oh, this is not good. Then my fear is exactly what Tucker said. This guy needs to double down on security. I, I agree. They only have one thing after this. I agree. I'm telling you, the level of whatever, <clears throat> the amount of things they feared, they feared with Twitter files. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know the amount of things with Matt Taibbi and um, uh, uh, Barry, Barry Weiss and Schellenberger. The amount of things they feared with Twitter files. Bro, we don't have Google files. We don't have YouTube files. We don't have Facebook files. But imagine getting FBI files. Imagine he puts in somebody that gets the CIA files. Imagine he puts all the people. Are you, imagine he gets the, you know, where you find out Mayorkas, what email exchange he's at. If he puts the bo bo uh, border uh, security, uh, Mayorkas. Uh, 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 Mayorkas, we get those files? It's over. What is that going to look oh like? God. Is that the banana? Are we, that's the, I, I am so at a point I'm convinced that they're frightened of the American people finding out how nasty and dirty and who's been involved. If there's one thing that's kind of weird, notice, you know, I think Obama has been low-key a lot. Why? He's been low-key a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't been know why. He's been in a lot of pictures. He's been in a well, lot he was, of places. He was, in he was in England yeah. for, for the, yeah. But he came and left. It wasn't like he yeah, came Yeah, he was in. quick. He was yeah. quick. But he's been very low-key. 
you know, you got to watch what he's going to be doing because, you know, Clintons don't carry weight when it comes down to campaigning. I, I'm watching a lot of different things, but I'm sitting there. I guarantee they're sitting there saying, let's see what kind of reaction the market's going to have to. Polls are, how soon are we going to get some polls to this? How soon do you think we get some polls uh, to we'll, see what's we'll going to happen? this weekend, no doubt. Okay, so next week, we're going we're gonna to see America's reaction to this. It'll, it'll yeah. take one week. All the good polls need about yeah. 600 registered voters. They're going to wait for the cooling out period over the weekend, and they're going to see what people think about it, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I look for snap polls to be early but flawed. But a week from now, there's probably going to be more. I want to see somebody run a battleground state poll and bring it out next Friday and take it Tuesday, Thursday. And I'm, I'm not speaking my speculation. I'm speaking polling methodology that I've read. And, yeah, and, when you, and you mentioned, uh, sorry, Adam, because I, I know you want to yeah. say something. And I want people to understand when you say that, you're not just being facetious. You're just throwing it out there. When you're talking about the real, f they, they cannot let this man win because he's going to do exactly that. So that stopping him, like actually trying to get rid of him, let's not pretend like JFK, n nobody in the government or CIA, they're still trying to protect those, those documents. But I'm telling you guys right now, PBD, if something happens, Adam, mm -hmm. God forbid, a plane crashes or something happens and Donald Trump does perish, that civil war, that movie that we saw and all that shit that they're trying to get us to, PBD, that's what's going to happen because that's going to be the spark that lights this whole bitch ablaze because that's, that's the only way they could stop this guy because the way that we're seeing it, he, he's winning. This is, this, this is just embarrassing. So, so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.